digital and social media index pretty highly amongst uh, healthcare marketers uh, as a whole, and that group includes both uh, pharmaceutical and biotech manufacturers and agencies, uh, which is a good thing uh, when you consider that um, millennials' uh, preferred channel really is social and digital. They grew up with digital, um, and while they might not always engage with brands, uh, they define themselves through their connectedness. Uh, so that was one of the high points of the study. And when you think about uh, this, the sort of this, the tension in the industry now in terms of, uh, of companies trying to become more patient-centric, when it comes to millennial patients, um, how do you become patient-centric with a millennial? Uh, that, that question um, is, is a very important one to answer. So um, this, these are very important findings in that regard. The ePharma MMNM Marketing to Millennials survey um, also probed respondents around their future marketing behaviors with regard to the millennial audience. And we found uh, that uh, the manufacturers in particular plan to in, uh, involve millennials in product development, uh, which was uh, quite interesting. You know, when you think about the FDA, which is uh, making it a little easier uh, today to incorporate patient reported outcomes um, into the dossiers that uh, go into product approval. Um, that maybe is a reflection of, of that trend happening on the regulatory front. Um, and um, the, uh, the, both cohorts, the agencies and pharma, said that they also plan to change their, their tone of voice um, in, in their marketing, uh, as well as um, on the agency side to actually make an effort to recruit more millennials um, into their ranks. Um, and obviously, talent acquisition and retention is a big deal for agencies. And it's nice to, it was interesting to see that they're looking to stay relevant to Gen Y cultural trends by uh, stepping up their recruitment efforts in that area. The uh, ePharma MMNM Marketing to Millennials study found that by and large agencies and manufacturers are on the same page uh, when it comes to addressing this key audience. Uh, uh, that said, um, both tend to be budgeting on the conservative side. It was 9% uh, budgets uh, for pharma and about 12% for agencies. And um, so we don't, didn't necessarily see the urgency there in order to you know, shift the marketing toward this audience. Um, so there seems to be maybe an opportunity for agencies to persuade their clients more of the importance here, uh, also given the, the fact that the millennial audience um, is uh, known for being distrusting of traditional medical authority and sort of wears the emblem or the badge of social consciousness because that audience is so different from any other that pharma has uh, ever or is currently marketing to, uh, there's an opportunity for agencies perhaps to work more with their clients to uh, integrate uh, these uh, types of programs uh, into their marketing efforts. So the study showed um, uh, that there was a little bit of disagreement in terms of the challenges that each cohort was grappling with. For pharma manufacturers, uh, it was largely uh, mobile integration, uh, which when you think about it um, makes sense as, or, or was not a complete surprise uh, given that um, the optimization of pharma brand sites um, um, is, uh, has been a point of contention uh, in the past uh, in terms of making sure it's mobile optimized. Um, and on the agency side, the main challenge that they cited in the study um, was shifting sales forces. Uh, so perhaps um, one could say that that reflects um, perhaps a difficulty uh, in agencies uh, convincing clients to um, shift some of their marketing budgets away from HCP-oriented tactics, which we've found in other studies to uh, that that remains the dominant um, slice of the, of the marketing pie is HCP marketing, meetings, conferences, detailing, that, that sort of thing. So one thing that we thought might be interesting to do was to compare our findings with some external data points. And one thing we saw was that uh, in an external study called Elite Daily uh, from 2015, they found that 62% of millennials, this was a study of millennials, uh, not healthcare marketers like ours, uh, but they found that 62% of millennials said that uh, if a brand engages with them on social, they're more likely to engage and become loyal customers. So when you compare that to our, our survey, we found that 84% of healthcare marketers uh, are leveraging social media and 76% are leveraging mobile and tablet apps. And brands should continue to look for ways to connect with the audience, um, but perhaps more so through content and interesting content rather than the traditional advertising.